Hello everyone, um, my name is Kevin and this is a little tutorial on how to set up MCP for making mods for Minecraft 1.8. After setting up the environment, uh, we'll make a few little mods and tweaks for Minecraft. Now the MCP is a uh, Minecraft coder pack which uh, allows us to decompile and recompile the Minecraft code. Now to set up our coding environment, we're going to need to download a few things. I've already downloaded them, but I'll put a link in the description below so you can get them. Uh, first off, we'll need MCP. Um, we'll need the Java SDK, the JDK, uh, Eclipse, and 7-Zip. First off, we need to extract MCP to the desktop. Same thing with Eclipse. Install 7-zip. And the JDK. Uh, now I almost forgot to mention, if you're running a 64-bit system, you're going to want to install the 32-bit and 64-bit JDK. Um, if you go to the Java download link in the description. There's a uh, Java platform 8U25 JDK. Click on that. And down here in the downloads list, you can accept the agreement. There's uh, Windows 86 and 64. Get both of those, install them both. Can't hurt. I've already installed this, so I'm not going to install it again. Alright, now we're ready to set up MCP. If you open up your MCP folder and the jars folder, you're going to have to navigate to your Minecraft game folder, which is under C, Users, your username, uh, Apps Data. Now, if you can't see this Apps Data folder, you're going to have to go to uh, your options folder and search options under the view tab um, right here show hidden files folders and drives make sure that's clicked on apply apps data roaming minecraft under the versions folder um, 1.8 now 1.81 recently came out, but unfortunately uh, the current pre-release of MCP only decompiles the 1.8. So that's where we'll be doing our mods. Now if you copy the 1.8 jar over to the jars folder of MCP, we'll be ready to decompile. Now, in the MCP folder, uh, there's a decompile.bat file. You can run that. All done. Now, if everything decompiled properly, you should see all this. All OKs, no errors. Now, recompiling Minecraft is a little tedious, to say the least. Uh, first off, you have to run the recompile.batch and then the reobfuscate.batch and all your modified classes get compiled to the reops folder. Then those files all need to be injected into your Minecraft jar file. So you open up your Minecraft jar file with 7-zip. All the classes that get compiled to here have to be copied to this jar. And if you have any assets from items you've added perhaps to the game, uh, new textures or uh, models or anything like that, they have to be copied to the assets folder. 
in their corresponding folder. Then this meta.inf uh, meta uh, folder needs to be deleted, otherwise uh, the jar won't work. The game will just crash. It's a long, tedious process. Every time you recompile code, you have to go through that whole process. So what we're going to do is um, set up Minecraft and MCP and a batch file to take care of all that for us. So first off, we can create a new folder inside the M MCP folder and call that inject. This is where all your assets will go, textures and models and so on. Uh, those will automatically be injected into the jar file. Next, um, you're going to want to make a copy of this 1.8 folder because we don't want to make changes to our original jar. We want to create a modded jar separate from that one. So copy that. Make a copy of it. And we'll call this folder modded. Open that up. Now you got to rename these two files, the jar and the JSON file. To the same thing, modded.jar. And modded.json. Now you'll have to open up this JSON file with uh, either Notepad or Notepad++ and change its ID to also modded. Save that. There. Now we have a modded folder in our versions. Uh, this should show up as modded in your uh, launcher under your versions uh, pull down. All right, one last thing to do before we open up Eclipse and set up our coding environment. Um, open up MCP. And the recompile.bat file, you can open that up. Don't double click it, but open it up in uh, Notepad or Notepad++. And we have this. This is the script to recompile the code. What we're going to do is replace that with this. Now this is a batch file I wrote. It um, basically does everything for us. Uh, first line copies the 1.8 jar to the modded jar in the modded folder. Uh, the reason I do this is because we want a fresh clean copy to inject all our classes and modded uh, stuff into. Next line is uh, the recompile. The recompile starts. When it's finished, uh, we have a choice. It pops up a choice on the screen um, whether you want to start the reobfuscation process. It's on a 10 second timer and if you click Y it will automatically move on to the next step. If you click No, it jumps to the end. On yes, the reobfuscation process starts. When that's completed, uh, it'll ask you to inject your files into the jar. That's also on a 10 second timer. And same thing, if you click no, it'll jump to the end. Now the reason why I put these no options is because um, after the recompile process, there might have been errors in your code and you can stop the script there, fix your errors, and start it over again. Same thing with the reobfuscation. Finally, the injection process uses 7-zip, calls on the 7-zip executable, uh, updates files inside the modded jar, and it will take everything in the reops folder all the classes, the modded classes, and inject them into the, the modded jar file. Uh, same thing with lib. Now there is a lib folder. 
Now this folder here is for uh, any custom libraries you may have wanted to add to the game. And finally the inject folder. Now the inject folder is where you're going to put all your uh, assets. Last step, delete the meta inf file. Remember I said if this file if this folder exists in the uh, the jar file your mods won't work. In fact, the game will just crash. All right. So let's save that out. Now let's set up our Eclipse environment. Oh, uh, one last thing. I almost forgot. Realms has been updated a few times since MCP's release, and uh, Eclipse is going to look for an older version of Realms. So um, it's not going to be there. So we have to actually copy that over. So if you go to MCP jars, libraries, com mojang realms uh, you'll see there's a 1.59 version we actually need the 1.54 version I believe so go to your minecraft folder again in the same hierarchy libraries com mojang realms in 1.54 folder should be there copy that over there we go eclipse is going to look for that library and give us a bunch of errors if it's not there so that way we can avoid any trouble all right everything's ready let's run eclipse For the workspace, we're going to browse to the MCP folder and click on Eclipse. Select that. OK. And there we go. Now there's one last thing we need to check. This JRE system library 1.6. Now you should have the latest version of the Java runtime installed. So if you right click on that, go to properties. In the bottom here, you have workspace default JRE. Select that. And that should be it. Now here under client SRC, pull that down, we have all our code. All right, and that's all for now. Uh, in my next video, um, we'll probably be getting into some actual code. Now Minecraft is already pretty well balanced, so the mods we'll be making won't change any core game mechanics or anything like that uh, but in the next video I'd like to maybe add a couple new blocks and resources to the game um, I never liked that you can only get gunpowder from creepers so we're going to add a sulfur block and a potassium nitrate block which will be generated in the world then we'll add a new recipe to craft gunpowder from sulfur, potassium nitrate, and coal, uh, which are the ingredients in actual gunpowder. Another idea I had was uh, I was playing uh, Seven Days to Die, and in the options of Seven Days to Die, there's an option to set the time scale of your days, of your 24-hour cycle. I thought that would be a great option to have in Minecraft as well. Uh, we can uh, add that option, maybe a slider bar to set our 24-hour cycle, because I think the current 24-hour cycle for Minecraft is 20 minutes long, which is pretty short. 
I like to have a much longer day and night maybe. And that's it for now. Um, if this tutorial was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. See you soon.